excuse the fact that my outfit doesn't match at all. I'm trying to uh, not turn into a human popsicle. Today's video is just going to be another talking video, not really a vlog. I'll, I'll have a vlog for you guys tomorrow, but today we are talking about the five things that your brain tells you that gets you to stop and give up on the things that you want most. So it doesn't matter if it's gym goal related, it doesn't matter if it's business related, it doesn't matter if it is relationship related. These are things that my brain tells me sometimes. It's an experience that more people can relate to. You want to make sure that you stick around for number six, which is a bonus. Number one is you're behind and you're never going to catch up. We have this singular construct of what living life looks like and that is definitely influenced by media or people around us or just society in general kind of tells us that there is just this one size fits all way of living life. So it makes sense that when we deviate from this idea that we feel guilt, we feel anxiety, we feel overwhelmed because we're not sticking to the plan, the universal godly plan that every human applies to. Life slows down when you stop comparing yourself to these looks maxing, early word, grind set, giga chads. <laughs> if you and them are both fruit, they're an apple, and you're an orange, and it's completely incomparable. You cannot compare two different fruits. It just doesn't work like that. You can't say, you can't take a bite out of an apple and say, this apple isn't orangey enough. It must be bad in some way. It must be inherently, this apple must be inherently bad because it doesn't taste like an orange. Does that make any sense to you guys? Does that, logically, I'm thinking that makes no sense. So why are we do, applying that to ourselves? Who are, who are you comparing your life to? Because you can't compare apples to oranges. So if you're an apple and they're an orange, who are you comparing yourself to? Number two is I am not enough. I am not pretty enough. I am not smart enough. I am not funny enough i'm not enough if in any area of life now this is not going to be a pep talk i'm not going to tell you oh don't tell yourself that you are pretty enough you are smart enough <laughs> i am not going to tell you that because this is not about trying to lift up your spirits this is a conversation about excuses in my personal experience with youtube running etc let's start off with youtube I have been posting YouTube videos since I was in fifth grade, actually probably sixth grade, and I have been posting sporadically whenever I felt like it on and off. Now I am ready to commit, okay, because I realized that the story that I perpetuated about not having the right skill set to do the things that I want to do with these types of videos, it's not going to cut it. It's an excuse. <laughs> and then running, for example. This week, I had two 45-minute runs, and both of them, I was in a battle, self versus self, against me, right? I was really going through it that entire run because up until then i had never run for that long 45 minutes straight and there came a point at the 35 minute mark when i still had 10 minutes left that i was thinking to myself am i going to make it there's literally no way on this planet that i'll make it to 45 minutes but guess what i i did the thing and i finish my 45 minutes both sessions and that was because I turned off my brain and I didn't allow the excuses of you are not a long distance runner you are not disciplined enough to do this you don't have enough willpower I don't care about that because guess what I'm gonna finish my 45 minute run sometimes you just need to turn off your brain 
and stop following your emotions. Stop. Your actions should not be driven by emotion. They should be driven by some deep sense of self, a sense of purpose inside of you. With that all being said, let's move on to number three, which is <laughs> I'm tired. I will give a real life example of when this is, has happened in my life. Today in particular, I did not want to film this video. <laughs> I feel like this is a reoccurring experience with, with me talking about not wanting to film or not wanting to go outside um, on these videos, but it's true, okay? I'm trying to be honest with you guys. I didn't really feel like making an outline and filming this video, but guess what? I'm still filming it. Despite Despite my resistance to wanting to film my video, I have a purpose for doing it. I have a why. And so it doesn't matter if I'm tired, if I'm uncomfortable, if I am this, that, and the third, because I know I'm gonna get it done. When I'm feeling this way, I try to remember, I try to remind myself that I deserve the consequences of my actions. The moment that I say I'm not doing this because I'm tired or I'm uncomfortable with, or I am stepping into uncharted territories and there's just a lot of unknowns, I have decided that I'm willing to accept all of the consequences of not doing that thing. Just because your mind tells you you're feeling this certain thing doesn't mean you need to act on it because of that. Your brain is kind of wired to see dangers in your environment and it doesn't tell the truth all the time. It just wants to survive, right? But most likely the thing that you're trying to do is not gonna kill you. And even if you're, <laughs> I don't know, a Navy SEAL and you're running on broken legs, right? Um, just to get through six months of training. That might be a little extreme, right? But if that's what you need to do, to find that inner willpower, then that's what you just, you just got to do. And I also want to mention that if you want something, you become obsessed with it. And there is nothing that fatigue or uncomfortableness or difficulty or anything that could shake that obsession. So if you want something, you are going to go out and get it. Just think about in the past, anything that you had to do for a fact, like there was no way of getting out of it and you just buckled down and got it done. For example, if you graduated high school, you just buckled down and did you, what you had to do to get your diploma. Last thing for this, this one bullet point, this, this one's a big one, so. Lastly, I'm going to assume that in the past you have wanted something and so you work toward getting it but then maybe you got tired maybe it just felt really new and were scared because of that and then you fell off and you stopped completely cold turkey think about how you felt after quitting that thing what do you think you'll get if you just continue the pattern continue the cycle i'll you know i have an answer for that question the same result you will get the same result if you continue to do the same thing which is kind of the definition of insanity <laughs> number four is i am not prepared or ready now to a certain extent research and preparation is important and it is helpful to get better results right if I am an athlete and I'm training for a marathon, maybe it would be best to have about five months at least of running under my belt before I go in and run about 26.2 miles willy-nilly. But as mentioned in my other videos, thinking is not doing, planning, and I mean obsessive planning, is by definition, limboing between 
what you did and what you're going to do. I don't know about you, but that limbo is very excruciating. You're never going to get to the points where you have researched enough, where you have planned every single thing, where you have covered every base. You're never going to be ready. You don't need to watch five more videos on the positive effects of dopamine detoxing. Just do it. There will always be something more to learn about this particular thing that you want to set out to do. Let's just say you want to start a drop shipping company. Is that what it's called? Drop shipping? Let's just say you want to do that. You need to learn the basics, right? But, but after that, you kind of start, I, from personal experience, I can tell you that when I learn about something, I learn the basics and it's all new and fresh. And then I start to over research about it. I hear the same things over and over and over. And I expect that maybe I'll learn about something new that will save me years and years of, you know, personal experience that maybe I could have cut down if I just learned this one singular thing it's not gonna happen okay it's not going to happen even if it does do you want to sit there and wait for that day to come or do you want to go out there and get it done if you want to go out there and put action to your words <laughs> coming in at number five is I'm just not that girl. Again, this is not going to be a, a pep talk about how capable you are and how you're such a strong, independent woman. No. This, like every bullet point on this list, is a story that our brain likes to tell us, right? That we're just not that person. We repeat these stories in our heads over and over and over. If our brain is like a library, there's this one book on the shelf that is coming off of its binding and the pages are all yellowed and it has dust on it. That book in the library that is your mind is those old stories that you keep on reiterating to yourself. This book is old and it is tired. So we need to do something about that. You think that David Goggins always thought that he was that guy. Kobe Bryant, Mr. Beast, Steve Jobs, Oprah, Beyonce. What do all of these people have in common? They created a certain image in their mind about who they were and completely scrapped that and decided that they were going to create a new person. This new person that they created resonated more closely with their goals and their aspirations. Let me ask you a question. If a multimillionaire tech CEO decides to get in a bus and drive it, is he now a bus driver? It's all about how you perceive yourself. It's all about the identity shift. If you want to be great at something, you have to act and think like a great. Your brain will try to tell you that you're just not that girl. Who says? Who says you're not that girl? Is it your parents, your friends, your supposed friends, co-workers? They can tell you all day long that you're not that girl, but if you believe that you are, then there's literally nothing that can stop you. No one can stop you. You're an immovable object. Our brain likes stability. And when you repeat the same thing over and over and over to yourself, it will start to soak it up like a sponge. When you don't think that you're capable of something, that is the story that you're telling yourself. And your brain will try so so very hard to keep the same story because it likes stability like i said and it will go to outrageous extents to try to keep this same ideology when it doesn't resonate anymore when it doesn't serve you anymore now the way that you reverse this is that you just completely drop that identity i don't believe i don't i don't identify with that anymore i don't smoke anymore it turns into 
I am not a smoker. I have a little bonus bullet point for you guys because I love you. <laughs> a slip is not a slide. I got this little quote. It's not really a quote, but it's like saying from a book that I recently have been reading and finished actually. The book, I'm Glad My Mom Died by Jeanette McCready. Her therapist told her that you're okay as long as a slip does not turn into a slide. Sometimes our brain plays tricks on us and sometimes we fall into that trick. We are so gung-ho about defending our brain, defending the stories and paradigms that our brain has been programmed to recite like an actor with a script or a computer with a program. and we have to constantly be aware that our brain is not right right all the time and constantly challenge those those thoughts and that type of thinking because the way that we grow is we have to push our way through the chrysalis we have to chip our way at the eggshell we have to tunnel our way through the mountain in order to get to the other side so i know this video has come off a little bit preachy i don't really like being on my soapbox but when i say you in this video i kind of am saying i okay so so replace all the yous in this video with i because i'm really talking to myself but if you've made it this far in the video leave a comment down below if any of my five thoughts that your brain tries to tell you to get you to stop resonate with you we've come to the end of the video if you liked the video like the video here are my socials pinterest goodreads and wattpad on pinterest i will be posting three times minimum a week goodreads i post on mondays because i have a goal of reading one book a week so if you would like to know which book i'm reading this week go ahead on over to Goodreads and check that out. And then Wattpad, I'll be posting previews of all the stories that I write on there. And I hope that you guys take care and have an amazing, 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 great day today. I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. <laughs>